Hello everyone, my name is Gingerkin and here we are at Tutorial Island. This is going to be part one of my Iron Man progression series. Just like any new account, we have to give ourselves a name. I think an OS Iron Ginger. OS Iron Ginger, like this. This name's available. Cool. Well, I think that's how we'll set our name then. All right, and this is what we're going to look like. Uh, I'm actually a ginger in real life, so let's keep the red hair. I do have facial hair as well, so, and I am in fact a male. So here is our guy. Whoa, hey now, what a stud. I'm gonna get through all the tutorial island stuff. I will be back. All right, I lied a little bit. We have to set ourselves as an Iron Man, so we gotta talk to uh, Iron Man tutor here. Tell me about Iron Man. I'd like to change my Iron Man mode. Okay, I need to set a bank pin. Uh, hey, don't look. I'm pretty sure we got it all set up right. So I'm gonna finish up Tutorial Island, then I'll see you guys in a few. All right, here we are in Lumbered. Spawned in first time as the Iron Man. Get ourselves our training sword and shield. I swore we got, oh, we do get Iron Man armor. Hell yeah. Look at us. We are an absolute Chad. One more pickpocket and we get our first level on the account. Oh, of course we fail. Will we get it on the next one? And there we go. Level two thieving. First level on. What? I wasn't even pickpocketing you. Why'd you hit me? All right, let's do an easy quest. You don't look very happy. What's wrong? Yes, let's start Cook's Assistant. Okay, we have to pick up an egg. Yo, bro, what are you looking at? First quest of the account, Cook's Assistant complete. One quest point, 300 cooking XP. What level does that take us to? Level four cooking. Nice. There we go, sheep shear complete. Quest two, done. So I think what I'm gonna work on next is getting the requirements for Winter Todd. It's a good early game Iron Man tool that we can use. It gives us a lot of resources, things like that, so. Enjoy this little time lapse of me getting all the stats required for it. this log we will hit level 50 fire making all right we have the requirements to do winter Todd now there's a couple of things we need to do before we go to winter Todd and there's a couple of things that I want to do so let's go and get those things done one of the things that I wanted to do before winter Todd was complete a beginner clue that I got from woodcutting which we did I had two steps on this one. Charlie gave us getting an iron ore, so I got 15 mining as well. Here we go. The first beginner clue of the Iron Man. What are we going to get? Nothing. Since we're in Varrock, might as well do the natural history quiz. Boom. Thousand Slayer, thousand Hunter, level nine in each. Let's go. 
Another thing that I wanted to do before Wintertide was the Stronghold of Security. And it looks like I need a Jagex account to get my rewards. I'll be back. All right, we upgraded to a Jagex account. Can we finally open this? Oh, yes, we got the gold. Sweet, let's see if we can make it all the way to the bottom. All right, we made it to the next floor only using two T's. What do we get? Money. All right, on to the next box. Big loot, oh my goodness. All right, made it to the last level. Let's choose some fancy boots. Now that we have some money to spend, let's get ourselves a house. So that once we do winter tide, we can start getting some construction XP too. Sweet. We got a house. There is X marks the spot completed. Get an antique lamp. 200 coins and a beginner clue scroll. Before we go to Kren, let's use our lamp on agility. There we go, four agility levels. All right, let's go to Kren. Before we go to Kren, we actually need to get our warm clothing. So we already have the scarf. Here is the clue hunter trousers. Now on to the next pieces. Before we get our last few pieces of warm clothes, we're going to do some thieving here in our doin to get some cakes for Winter Todd. Plus the XP is decent. My recording wasn't working, but we got the last two pieces that we need. So now we'll head to Winter Todd. All right, everyone, here we are, Winter Todd. So I don't know how long I'll stay here for, maybe all the way to 99 maybe just for a little bit to get some supplies but the goal is to just do as many games as we can and get some good loot let's do it here comes the first big xp drop for game one boom 5k that's a level up let's see what we get in our first crate burnt pages wow nice all right we have our next five crates Let's see what we get. Decent. We're going to get any of the Pyromancer outfit or the pet. Nothing in the first five. We got 10 crates here at Winter Todd. Let's see what we get. These are all 750 points and above, by the way. So should be some decent loot. Ooh, our first piece of Pyromancer. Nice. And last one of the 10, nothing else, but we got a unique, sweet. Something else that I realized here is that the XP that you get from construction, wood cutting, and fire making scales with your level. Uh, so we are going to go to daddy's home, which will give us a bunch of construction XP so we can actually start earning a good bit here. So I'm gonna go do that, probably one or two other quests. And then we'll come back and do some more Winter Todd. One last thing is that uh, for the rest of this video, I'll probably be sounding a little sick. Everyone at my work has COVID, and I'm in the tail end of all them people that have it. So just started feeling sick today. Hopefully it doesn't last too long and it doesn't affect the video too much. But I want to give you guys a heads up. All right, let's complete Daddy's Home. Boom. Nine construction. All right, nice. Oh, well, you're welcome, Restless Ghost. Peace. And there is Restless Ghost complete. Up to nine prayer. We are cooking through these quests. Client of Karend complete. Let's use our antique lamps on agility. Level seven. And agility again, level 10, sweet. 10 more games means 10 more crates. Let's open them up. Ooh, Pyromancer gloves, or warm gloves. All right, another piece of the set, looking good. Level 69, nice. 
There is 70 fire making. Haven't really been showing levels because the first 20 levels or so, you just get so quick. But here on out, I'll probably be showing a good bit of them. Another 10 games, another 10 crates. Ooh, we got the torch. Anything else? Some more burnt pages. Some more loot. Sweet. There is 72 fire making. 50k C at winter Todd. 73 fire making. And 14 construction. All right, 10 more cases. Anything? Another torch duplicate. 75 fire making. Wanted to spice it up this time and open up 15 crates. So let's open them. Burn pages. And no uniques. Bummer. There's the funny number, Casey. Nice. 76 fire making. 78 fire making. 10 more crates means 10 more chances at goodies. Decent. 100 Casey. 80 fire making. 81 fire making. This time we're going to open up 20 crates. Hopefully we get something new here. Right now that we cleared up some space, let's burn pages. And no uniques. Tragic. So I've been burying the bones of people who died here, and I buried enough to get a prayer level. Level 10 prayer. 82 fire making. One of the things that I wanted to do at Winter Todd was complete all of the combat achievement tasks. So if we go to combat achievements, tasks, do Winter Todd, uh, we still have two left. So we need to heal the Pyromancer and we need to get 3,000 or more points. So we need to do a singles Winter Todd, which means we need to do Druidic Ritual so that we can do Herblore. And there is Druidic Ritual complete. Now we have access to Herblore. So on my way back to Winter Todd, I decided to get a few more agility levels. Doing this will help me with the solo games. It involves a lot of running, so we're just going to grab a few levels here. And after this obstacle, we are 20 agility. We also got five marks of grace, so only, what, 245 more until the graceful outfit? Crying inside. This will be my last time showing a crate opening unless I get something. Uh, there's just so many more rolls I need to get until I get 99, so I'll just show you guys the good stuff. But let's see if we... Oh, we got a duplicate. Unfortunate. And that's it. Hopefully you guys see more clips of me opening stuff, which means I'll be getting stuff. And there is 84 fire making and 150 kill count. Ooh, the Pyromancer Hood. That's a unique. All right, I'm going to try my hand at Solo Winter Todd and see if we can get anything good from it. And there is 85 fire making. All right, there's our first Solo Winter Todd. About 11,000 points, or 500. And we got a crate, so we're going to get a bunch of rolls on this. I'm interested to see if we get anything good. Oh, and we got the last combat achievement task for winter todd which is awesome so let's see what's in the crate oh uh i'm gonna go drop some stuff off then we'll open it all right freed up some space let's see if we get anything good bummer 86 fire making there is 87 fire making we have reached 200 kc here at winter todd 88 fire making oh let's go dome of fire that's a huge drop. Oh, I didn't need 50 magic to equip it, but that is game changing. <gasps> no way. Another tome? I just got one like 10 crates ago. That is insane. Another day, another level. 89 fire making. 90 fire making. 91 fire making. One more to halfway to 99. There it is. 92 fire making. Halfway to 99. And there's 300 kill count. I'm going to have to take a short break and grab some more cakes because I ate it all. But after that, I'll be back. 
We are one level closer. 93 fire making. 95 fire making. Getting so close. Level 96 fire making. Getting closer. Finally, we got another unique. 436 kills. We finally got the pyromancer robes. Still waiting on the boots, but hopefully we can get it. Yes, in the same round of crates, we got the boots as well. We finally have the whole setup. We finally have the whole setup. Now all we're missing is the pet and the dragon axe. 97 fire making. Just two more levels and then we're done here. And there's 500 kill count. I tried my best to line it up to get 98 fire making as well, but I was off by 2k. Thanks, B. Unlucky. So I'll see you guys in a minute for 98 fire making. And there's 98 fire making. One more level, and then we're out of here. The time has come, you guys. One more log, and there's 99 fire making. First 99 on the account. I'm going to finish up this game, then go open up a couple loot crates that I still have. Then we'll go over what I got from loot from Winter Todd. And then we'll wrap up the first episode. All right, here's our skills tab after getting 99 fire making. See, we got a good bit of wood cutting and fletching XP, plus 45 construction. That's going to be huge moving forward with the account. Also, up on the screen is the loot tab that we got. From Winter Todd. You see, we got all the Pyromancer pieces, Tome, we did not get the pet, and we also didn't get the axe, the dragon axe. But alright, guys, that's gonna wrap up the first episode of the Iron Man progression series. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment what you guys thought about it, and subscribe to the channel for more episodes. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.